happy just like that. Uh, read a couple more verses here. It says, um, For wickedness condemned by her own witness is very timorous, and be impressed with conscience always forecasted grievous things. Like that situation with the uh, Twin Towers. When the Twin Towers came down, you had this one crack on the phone talking to the dispatcher at the 9-11, the operator. And he was, you could tell that he was a proud devil, you know. And, and you could tell that he was like talking shit, probably used to talk shit, uh, talk down to Jake. But then when that day came and he was like talking, even even in the midst of that, he was nervous. And then when that, when that thing, that, that building came down, oh my Lord, oh, oh God, or whatever the hell he said, he was screaming. You know, so the Lord's going to take that spirit off of you. That proud spirit that you devils have, the Lord's going to take that spirit off of you. And you're going you're gonna to fear. You're going to fall in, 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 in place, so to speak, and then the Most High is going to crush you. So let's go back. Let's go back. A witness ourselves of the originators of what you see today. Whether it be uh, GMS or the other guys, these guys are just, you know, they're just followers of the original regime uh, of Israelites that came from a place called the Israeli School of UPK, all right? We'll give you some history on this school. Uh, we have went through this school, all right, and uh, until we found Christ. And um, we'll give you some history that will give you enough information to weigh whether or not you want to deal with that type of spirit. Before these groups popped up all over the place, who, who were their teachers? Uh, before there was a YouTube, uh, who were they? Okay, I'm going to go down a list here, and I'm going to show you some of the original teachers and what their agenda was. All right. And the majority of what these men taught have trickled down to the groups you see today, cursing and, and, and teaching reincarnation, holding on to the star of Moloch, not understanding that it's, it was called the Megan David by Jewish people. They hid it under the name of David because they didn't want the world to understand that this was a satanic symbol that, that ch our children of Israel were getting sacrificed under. So they hid it under Megan David. Megan David was a rock child. So they put the word David there because in the scriptures you have a King David. So by using David, you would think it was talking about King David, but in fact, it's Megan David. It's the highest wicked symbol on the earth. These black men, these brothers, upheld this because they seen this man. symbol in Russian icons, like he ain't black. in European icons. They seen uh, the different Baphomet symbols and all that in the Russian icons when our people rule Europe. But what they don't teach is that symbol was linked to wickedness and our people were wicked in Russia and in Europe. So just because they held this symbol doesn't mean that this, does not mean that this symbol is a symbol of our fathers, okay? There is no symbol that represents God's people. Our spirit show and prove. Let's get back on course here. Before there was all these groups here, uh, the Israeli Church of God and Jesus Christ, uh, Israeli Church of UPK, Israeli School of UPK, Great Millstone, or whatever they may call themselves, these are the men that started it. And we're going to bring it right around and we're going to make sure you understand how this goes into the reincarnation teaching. In the 70s, there was a man that his name was Alba Bivens. Okay? Now, when we were there, earlier in the, in the early 90s, here in Philadelphia, we learned, Alba Bivens, they was teaching us that Alba Bivens was Elijah or Elias in reincarnation. Now, we're going to prove and see if that's correct. So don't forget, this is how this stuff was built. This is what it was built on. They said that my Shah, may the Lord rest his soul. They said that my Shah was Moses, Daniel, and Peter in reincarnation. Let's go back. Now he <laughs> he's supposed to be he's supposed to know the name of the Most High, right? What do you call him, Ahia? 
and he called the Lord the Son of the Lord Yeshua, right? Now he saw Masha's name and he can't even say Masha. He said Maisha. There ain't no Maisha. <laughs> the word is Masha. Now, like I said, he got those those idiots, those zombies following his dumb ass, talking about Ahiah and Yeshaya. Because he broke it down the right way, because supposedly Ariah had the wrong way. But my thing is this who the hell taught you the Hebrew? Where'd you learn that Hebrew from, man? Please do a video on that and, and tell me where you learned the Hebrew. Tell me that an angel came down and opened up the Torah and showed you how to read the Hebrew. Did you go to a, a yeshiva? You learned the Hebrew from the men that you're talking shit about, man. So you ain't no expert on the Hebrew. And the reason why you did that is because you wanted to take all these guys do the same thing. Nate does the same thing. When you watch those guys teaching, the scriptures that they're going into, they wouldn't figure out them scriptures in a million years. They learned them scriptures from the, from the main school that he's talking shit about those men. Now, the name of that site right there, that video was an old video. I think that was put up in 2010 maybe, and it was re-put up maybe about six months, to, about six months ago. Now, the video is on one of the tabs, and the name of the YouTube uh, account is called Judah's Back. Judah, Judah's, like a Judah is back, Judah's Back. So, number one, how did, he, how did he figure out that he was a Judite, number one? Okay? If you go by Genesis, the 49th chapter, and Deuteronomy, the 33rd chapter, and other scriptures, you got that from, like I said, you wouldn't have figured this thing out in a million years. You call, you call that site Judah, Judah's back. The word Judah, how do you say Judah in the Hebrew? I'd like you to break that down to me. How do you break that down? Because that word Judah cuts a higher. It cuts the higher being the, the most high or the supreme. So let's go back. We're going to see if that's the case. Your Iqua, may the Lord rest his soul. Your Iqua was Ariah's father. Okay? I have old tapes of him breaking down the Star of David, saying it's negative and positive, but. You know, I guess the true information wasn't complete when he was coming up. He was just dealing with what he could get at that time. So we don't really blame the elders for going into that because when you don't have anything, you grab onto onto whatever you think belongs to you. So yeah, a that's lot why of these the brothers grab the zombies this are star following your ass. in ignorance. So you had your Iqua, then you had the brother Lahab. You may hear brothers speak about Lahab all the time, that he got money and all that, those things. He was one of the original guys in the church. Yeah, he's a, now, a wicked nigga. these guys nigga. end up breaking off from Abba Bibbins, who called himself Elijah, who they even taught in their school was Elijah. Then you had Yeshaya. They didn't break okay? off. They didn't break off from uh, uh, Abba. Abba, Abba. Abba died. Abba went down to Trenton to try to wake up them knucklehead Muslims that the Most High gonna destroy you niggas that's in the Islam and uh, the, the, you Moors and you Baptists and you Methodists and you Jehovah Witness and you Seven Day Adventists. The Most High gonna destroy you niggas. Cause all you niggas heard us one one way or another about he being a Hebrew Israelite or Israelite on YouTube. So they know the Most High already mocked you guys. You heard the word. A prophet has been prophets have been before you. You 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 are. Uh, uh, forsook the word, now you're going to suffer death. All right? Here sometimes. A very outspoken brother was a good teacher. Who are you talking brother about? Lahab? Lahab very no... quiet. Oh, Yeshia was a brother. jokester, man. Why don't you tell uh, the very... truth about Yeshia? Yeshia was a fucking jokester, man. All the guy did with, on a Friday night class was tell jokes. Yeah, Friday night at the Apollo, man. But, I mean, he did have some knowledge. He had some information. But he told a lot of jokes, man. 
And every once in a while, you catch him, you learn some information from the guy. I'll give you that. But where is he now? Where's Lahab now? Huh? Where's, where's Yeshai now? Where's Lahab now? Go good demeanor with him, all right? But he was a part of the original seven. You had Brother Kazak, who was real well with the history. Very good. Him and Yeshaya were very good historians. Kazak was...